in the first big trailer that we saw, the um, character of Tommy referenced a line of Peter Petrelli's from the original series. Was that just coincidence, or is he aware of Peter? No, it's just, it was just the idea that that I think is just the, a great existential question that I think so many people ask themselves. And I think it's actually the core question that made the show what it was. That I think everyone, you know, when you looked out at those 7,000 people today in that audience, part of me wants to believe that they're all there because they too feel that they're extraordinary. You know, living ordinary lives but feeling extraordinary. And I think that it is that wish fulfillment, that sense that all of us have that we must, you know, be meant for something great. That, you know, a teenage boy like Tommy's character who suddenly feels that something's happening to him and he needs answers. It felt like the beautiful thing was is that he didn't know Peter Petrelli, that he just asked that question as, you know, as purely as anybody else. Will we see any of the Petrellis or like any relatives or will their kind of well, legacy saw, live on? You saw Christine Rose in the trailer. Yes. But like Monty or Simon or anybody like that? Uh, no. <laughs> when, we, when we spoke recently, you said that you weren't surprised that Heroes is back, you know, that, that you somehow what he's doing. Being in Hall H and watching that response, is that sort of vindication for you, or validation, rather, of... Uh, I, I mean, I don't want to say I always knew it would be bad. I just, I, I don't mean that in, like, an arrogant way. I mean that in a kind of almost... Um, it just felt like we, I wasn't done, and, mm. and the audience felt like it was still there, you know what I mean? Um, and yeah, when you go out into Hall H and, and you know, the insecure writer in me, you know, <laughs> you wonder whether people are just going to throw tomatoes at you when you walk out there. So <laughs> when you s see the, the fact that people were still, you know, seemed to be very connected to this, to this concept and to this show, it was enormously gratifying, especially because that fan base the, the Comic-Con fan base was so unbelievably instrumental to the, I mean, it's hard to even think of how the show would have launched without that initial launch here that went out, and this is before the sophistication of the social media, they did it. They did it kind of just out of sheer force of wanting to do it, you know? They just went out and made websites and evangelized and chat rooms and, you know, and built an kind of built an audience for it that very much took NBC by surprise. You know, they, NBC was pushing, you know, another show that year. The, the like the Aaron Sorkin show was going to be the, the the hit of the, and it very much snuck up on everybody that Heroes, and it was that time between July and uh, and when we launched in September that this Comic Con thing took took its shape. Right. In success, could Heroes yes. Reborn go for more than one season? Um, the idea of Heroes has always been this elastic thing, you know? Um, it's an indeterminate number of people out there who have these powers, a world that always needs saving, and those seems like those that peanut butter and chocolate can always <laughs> go together. And so uh, I do feel the brand and the franchise is elastic enough that, it, you know, when we come to an end of this, if, if we want to tell more story, I feel like, especially now with the games and the, you know, and the, the, the novellas and all that, that the world is getting a little bit sort of bigger so people will expect there'll be new characters and new, new adventures. But the volumes idea is something that you're really going to drive home on these, if any reborn version of the show. Yeah, I think this idea of a, of a li of beginning and a middle and end is so important to an audience yeah. nowadays. So then they will log on. They've got they've got only so many things to vie for their eyeballs, and they they I think it's very reassuring to them to log on to something that they know is going to come to an end at a certain point. 